Hey everyone, this is going to be a collective reading. We're gonna go and just take a look at uh, the energy and see what message spirit has for you. It's gonna be more like a free flowing reading. So whatever comes out, comes out. Everything may not apply to you. So if it doesn't, just let that go and that will be for someone else in our soul family. Okay, let's go ahead and jump into your energy here. They're like bringing out a lot a lot of messages here my goodness let's uh let's shuffle that again okay so first and foremost you guys have victory that is showing up for you okay All right, let's get some cards out. You guys have victory coming up for you. And you also have door to romance that is showing up here. Some door to romance. Let's get all the cards out. First, so I can see a good picture. Okay, so there's some... I don't know why this keeps coming up because I don't usually talk about this, but we do have notes here, okay? Because I knew for some reason using this deck, <laughs> there was going to be some information about some chakras. And lately that's been coming up a lot in these readings, um, just chakra energy, or they're getting messages <laughs> through uh, symbolism. Um, representing your chakras. So what's showing up for you guys here collectively? Some door to romance coming open with this 33. Door to romance. But what's being affected is crazy. You, ooh, Number 33 is showing up down here on door to romance and 35. This could be someone's age or 37 because all of these numbers, okay, just these three in this row is coming up with numbers here. So some of you guys could be, be this age, 33, 35, 37. That could be someone's parking space as well. That's something else that I just heard crazy. Um, yeah, someone's age, your age, or someone that you know here. Someone's locker number, maybe at a gym possibly, or a locker that they use. Okay, so the first chakra and the third chakra is being highlighted. Let me get into this reading. Well, we're talking about the first, the root chakra, okay, energy that is showing up for you. This root chakra energy usually becomes highlighted, I feel, a lot of times when there may be... Um, just seeing the energy here, maybe a relationship that is um, charged by passion. <laughs> That's how I want to say it. Okay, charged by passion. We're, we're being PG on on the, on this video here. So, yeah, uh, this may be someone that's very lustful. Okay, not only lustful, they may also, uh, I feel, be hungry, but not for love. <laughs> okay, because your next row is coming up with the broken heart. You have door to personal healing and happiness. It almost feels like someone wants to go through this door. Like they want what you have here. Okay, because I'm looking diagonal at the other row here, which I'll show you. But on top of this door to personal healing and broken heart, you have a thinking man here. I feel like there's a little bit of strategic action that's going on here with this man or masculine energy. This person could be 45. They could be young too. Or they're just uh, very good at manipulating or strategizing to get what they want. I want to put it like that here, but above this row here, okay, with strategy and a man holding a heart, you guys have deceit that's coming in. You see how this is playing out? We're going to go through all of this. We're going to break it down here. 
Uh, but I do see your energy here as well. Okay. Some of you guys, you may be the thinking man, or you may be because they're sitting right next to each other. Either one of these could be you here. Okay. Only you know who you are. <laughs> this is a general reading here. So the thinking man um, is showing up and the woman holding a coin. You have envy in this row and also attachment here. So this envy and attachment card is sitting under a woman holding a coin. You're like, can't you just show us the desk? Yes, I could, but I don't have that set up right now. And I really felt this energy. I needed to bring it out here. Okay. So let's go back to the chakras. The first, uh, the first chakra, the root chakra. I feel for a lot of you guys, you make someone feel secure. You make them feel safe. Okay. Um, they feel like they have a place in your life, a place in your heart, a place um, in the world as well, because you make them feel like um, they're doing great things. <laughs> they're doing great things in their life. Um, and you help, you're their muse. That's what I'm feeling. You really feel them and you make them feel very strong. Okay. The root chakra is all about survival, feeling grounded and safe, like I said. And this is the energy with this root chakra that I feel like you give to them. I don't feel like that's the only thing you give to them, though. I feel like there may be, um, yeah, they're saying that you hold the key to their heart. This also makes me feel like you may have a piece of their heart, but also... <sighs> heart with a key. Okay. I feel like they have the key. That's what it is. You, you actually don't hold the key. Okay. I feel for this energy that's showing up here, you may not hold the key or the damn heart. The man is holding his own damn heart. Okay. <laughs> that's what I'm seeing here. All right. So mm, you're always welcome in it though. It's hard to capture someone's heart. But they love the stability that you give to them. They love that you make them feel grounded. You make you you are a safe place for this individual. Okay. Next is the third third chakra or the solar plexus chakra that is showing up. That's the only chakras we have on this table. So is represented by yellow. It is someone's drive. I feel like you give this person a lot of energy. Um, you give them a lot of confidence. Okay. That's what the energy feels like. And their self-esteem is very high. When you're around them or when they're around you, okay? Whoever you're dealing with may have some addiction problems though as well. They may have like an overactive sacral uh, solar plexus. That's what I'm saying here with this addiction card. It may be overactive for them. They could be domineering as well. Kind of power hungry here. Always a thinking man. Whoever this is, they're, they're showing up as a thinking man. I feel like that's them. Um, your treasures are my treasures. That's what I just heard here. So someone feels like your treasures belong to them. Whatever you possess or whatever you have uh, is there. Is theirs. It belongs to them. Okay. A lot of you guys may be this independent person, maybe an independent woman, because that's masculine or feminine energy. Let me put it like that. Okay. So you may be this person, very independent, making great strides, making great moves. Okay. Able to stand up um, and take care of your business. You don't falter here. Okay. You don't bend and you don't show a lot of weakness here with the queen of thoughts, queen of swords. You're really standing there on top of your game. I wonder if some of you guys are older than this person. 
because this person kind of feels a little immature, okay? <laughs> Doesn't have to be immature because this person could be 46 as well. That's another age that they're giving me. But their actions or the way that they behave, the way that they express themselves, they have a lot of wisdom, but they're, they're also young at heart. Let me put it that way. You guys have went viral. Either you went viral or this person went vi viral, okay? Four of Wands is not a bad energy here with this thinking man. You may have a lot of fame. They may be very interested in, in you because you have this fame, you have this attention, you have this business, you are well known in a community or setting here, okay? And you open a lot of doors for them or you really hold them up. You're able to hold this person together here. They think you're the twin flame or some of you guys, are, this is your twin flame. <laughs> okay. Yin yang. You're the yin to my yang balance, union, duality, coupling, complement each other here. Okay. And door to happiness and healing. Let's take a look at this. Okay. Door to happiness and healing. You are uh, collective, the door to happiness and healing, or you're walking through this door and someone wants to walk through it with you. I see it as a great accomplishment and victory. If so, if they can capture your heart, someone's putting their heart out there to be seen. I feel like it's someone you're, you're going to be dealing with, or you're dealing with here. That's what it is. It's, oh, I swear, I just saw like things crawling. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> it was just, I don't know what that was. That's why I'm looking over my shoulder. <sighs> sly ways. Someone has sly ways, really. They kind of get you hooked, okay? Because the story is not complete yet. We're going to go through this. Because just along this L line, things start to shift. Okay, and become very questionable for you guys. And I feel like the universe wants me to shed light on this. It's so it's someone is that's why the heart is in the cage. Okay. They're like, come closer. It's right here. And the key is dangling on the cage there for you to open it up. And the doors are open. So someone's acting very open to an idea. Yes. I'm glad I set that down. Okay. Someone's acting very open to an idea, maybe of a connection or a relationship. You have Cupid's arrow. So they're going to throw their heart out there and try to satisfy your emotions, satisfy your physical needs, satisfy the dreams that you have in your mind, the desire that you have in your heart, try to provide you with something that, okay, is involving the root chakra <laughs> and the solar plexus chakra. This person is going to possibly build up your confidence in some type of way or shower you with a lot of attention, of affect affection, okay? Um, try to drown you in it, basically. This may come as a surprise here. Some of you guys may be a little hesitant as well because you may be really thinking just about, you know, this door of abundance becoming open to you, this door to personal healing and happiness. You may be all just about that here, okay? But someone, I feel, has something else in mind. What else do they want, spirit? Because right under this card is broken hearts. Did you just get out of a situation or someone else, someone that you're dealing with, maybe freshly out of a connection, out of a relationship here and making you the fallback or whatever you call it. Okay. Oh, all right. So they tend to win you over with seduction. And I feel because uh, it's because you have something that they need. That's what I'm going to say. You have something that they desire. It's either your energy here, soul family, or it is a, something material that they desire from you here. But their seduction hurts. 
or they're trying to mend their heart from someone that they were just recently with. Maybe they broke up with this person or, yeah, their person let them go here. But yeah, they're, they're, there's a lot of flirting here. There's a lot of seduction, but somebody's heart is broken. This person's heart is broken here or your heart is broken and this person sees an opportunity to come in at your most vulnerable point here because I feel like your light is shining very brightly. It's like a beacon to others here, a beacon to others. This doesn't have to be a lover either. You guys, this could just be someone that befriends you. That's the energy that they're giving me. It doesn't have to be like someone that wants to hook up with you, even though I, that, that energy is very much there. The key words on this seduction card is attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party interference. Okay. So you can be the become the third party. They don't want to let you know, okay? But their heart is not satisfied where, where they are. And that's what we're going to see. Why? Why is the door to romance open with this person here? What else? Okay. I just want to get to know you. <laughs> that's what I said. It doesn't have to be just a romantic partner. You have coffee cup and it says friendship down there. So it could be someone that's opening up their heart, just acting like they want to have a friendship, maybe... Uh, share moments with you or have a conversation with you. But that really changes somewhere along the line. Someone's going to get very attached because of some reason here. And we're going to treat this reason like we're pulling teeth, okay? Wisdom teeth and find out why. Because in your next energy that's showing up here, collective is attachment. So there, I feel with the number five, that's showing up here, it may be an unhealthy attachment. And someone in this woman is holding a mask, which makes me feel like someone's not being totally honest with themselves, with others. Let me put it with like that. They're not totally being honest with others. Are they chained up too? Yes, they're like chained to a post with a mask, with a mask in her hand, chained to a post. Attachment showing up here. I don't feel like, let's see here. <sighs> okay, so you have the ick. <laughs> Their actions is like this, maybe. My goodness, the ick. They may give this feeling to other people like, ugh, they have very unhealthy habits and unhealthy attachments. And a lot of people may see them as a setback, as someone that will... I just heard you need to set the trash on fire. <laughs> yeah, this is someone that, and this is five of feels, and then you have the five of attachment. They have very unhealthy behavior when it comes to relationships here. This could be someone that really envies you. I'm just going to say this, okay? It's someone, it doesn't have to be a lover. doesn't have to be a boo. Could be because it's here, but friends are here as well. It's someone that's going to come in, try to act like, ooh, I love you. Throwing, you know, <laughs> pulling back that, that string of the Cupid's arrow, just trying to get your attention through sex, okay? Through temptation, flirting, okay? It's an illusion. Someone's um, not being honest or truthful if it's romantic here, but if it's a friendship, this person, they don't they don't truly like you here. You have envy and a pyramid scheme. So this person, I feel like this person wants what you have. That's what it feels like. They want what you have here. They see you as being very strong, very independent. Hold, you know, I don't care if you're male or female watching. This reading is for everyone. Just to remind you here, okay? The woman holding a coin and the thinking man, they may be very jealous and envious of the things that you have created, okay? It says independent woman, but I just explained that. This is energy, not anything pertaining to your sex or anything, okay? But your energy is letting me know that you're always creating. Um, you're an alchemist. You're, you're turning 
every opportunity that you touch into coins and gold, and you are always on top of your game. And this person hates it. Someone hates it here. They want to be you. They want to go viral like you. They want to speak like you. It's almost like they, they want to switch energies with you. That's what it feels like. And I feel like this person may be around because it says pyramid scheme. It's going to be a lot of lying going on in this partnership. The number two that's coming in talks about partnerships, the number 20 on there, but it's two. So this person's envious. It's some partnership. And I feel like there's a lot of lies with pyramid scheme lies to entrap you, to change your fate, to change your destiny, to change your life, okay? So they can pick it up and it can be theirs. <laughs> um, someone wants to swap places with you. That's exactly what this um, energy is making me feel like. They're very uh, strategic with it. Whoever this is, they're trying to switch destinies with you. And they're very strategic with their actions, strategic and deceitful. And they cover up what their true intentions are with affection, love, okay? They may act like they're wearing their heart on their sleeve. That's the energy in this row. I told you it gets kind of fishy. When we come around this corner, this person is going to be coming from nowhere. That's what I feel. And let's see. We're going to take a look at this deceit card that is showing up here. So this person wants to destiny swap with you. And they're trying to gain your trust and gain or gain your affection here. Because someone's really envious of you. They're wondering how did you get to where you are? Maybe they think that what you do is a pyramid scheme or you got to that place because of some pyramid scheme. You probably didn't earn it. OK, why do they why does their life need to be so hard? That's what I just heard. Someone is wondering why do why is their life so hard? Um, and it seems like you just stepped into blessings. It was just handed to you or success fell in your lap here. OK, we're clarifying this deceit card coming in towards you guys. You got someone they could be 25, very immature, too. OK, or they could be 45 or 43, like I said to you, and they just act that way. But this this deceit card, when I talked about the woman holding the mask in her hand, that's exactly what's coming up for your deceit energy. This person is wearing a mask. OK, so their intentions are well Camouflage, not showing true feelings, hide, personify, pretend, delude, gaslighting here. I don't feel like they just, they're trying to take money from you, okay? Or just cheat on you or have you be the third person, maybe <laughs> third party here, okay? Maybe you're the third party interference and their real person don't know about you quite yet. But I feel like this person actually wants your abundance because I set this one over here for this reading. They really want your abundance here. So um, and they want to ascend. They want to kind of like push you down. Push you down to the level that they're at um, and rise in your place. OK. Uh huh. And they're very strategic and calculated about this as well. And you can't trust anything this person says because their main focus, their main priority is to get close to you. In order for you to destiny swap with someone, you have you don't have to do a spell either. You just have to get close to this person here, okay? Whatever person. They're trying to get close to you. They have to get close to them, be a part of their life, spend time with them, text them, okay? And act like they care about them to gain access because access is required. Let's see, strategy, self. Let's 
self-indulgence and photograph is showing up for you here. Okay, so you may see over time, or you guys may be seeing this already, you may see this person try to become you, or they start dressing like you, they want to mimic you, because a photograph, I feel like they're trying to do the things that you do, dress like you, be like you, uh, act like you. Um, mm mimic you in some type of way. <laughs> As I pick this up, you have mirror that's showing up. This person is mirroring you in this in this connection that they're trying to <laughs> that they're trying to create or have with you. You either have this connection or it's coming in here. Okay. But you can have victory over this situation. I know that you can. Okay. This person, this motherfucker will stab you in your back. A man holding in, holding a heart stabbed in the back. Okay. I don't feel like this is someone coming into your life and their heart was broken because someone stabbed them in their, in their back, a lover, a past lover. And now they're just mm, trying to soothe their heart with a one night stand with you. No, I feel like this person really is a, a wolf in sheep's sheep's clothing. A wolf in sheep's clothing. They're really wearing a mask. It's a, incredible, okay? Because they want what you have. They want your position. They want your life. They want your income. They want the doors open the way they want doors to open for them the way that they open for you, okay? Let's see what else is going on in this situation here. We're going to take a look here at this deceit card. What is this deceit card about here? Glamour, intrigue, and drama. I feel like they may be trying to bring that into your life here and make you change in some way and try to get you to forget who you are, what your plans are. No one can make you do anything, but this person... I feel like this person has some type of, and people don't have to have this, but whoever you're dealing with, they have some type of gift of the tongue. Um, they're very suave or they're very good at persuasion. Yes. Okay. They're very good at persuasion. But I feel like they're going to try to get you to change something about yourself. Shadow grave. You miss someone. Shadow grave. Whoever this is, somebody hurt them really bad. And this may be their energy here, but that's not the reason why they want to come into your life, okay? They just see you shining very brightly here. Um, and they want to come from out of the darkness because they're in the shadow grave. Maybe the, they used to be like you. They used to be full of life, independent, had everything going on for them. And so... <laughs> Someone swap with them too, or okay. Someone destiny snaps a swap with them, or this person just took from them, hurt them in some way, okay. Let's take a look here, or they feel like you took something from them. This may be someone you know, it doesn't have to be. This is an open reading here. But this energy of this energy swap, it's like an energy vampire, okay? That's coming into this reading here. Why is it stabbed in the back? Grumpy red, be your true self. Okay, so why is this person stabbing? <laughs> Whoever this reading is for, why are they being stabbed in the back? It's a karmic relationship. For some of you guys, it is a karmic relationship. That's why this is coming around. 
turmoil, resentment, lessons, lessons, letting go. You may not even know nothing about this here. This person may not even understand what's truly happening either. Or, but they know what their goal is. <laughs> okay. Maybe they are more intuitive or people have some strange gifts. Okay. Maybe they can see your light, see your life, see where you're going. Okay. In life here, uh, much clearer than you can see it yourself. And they're like, oh, I'm going to take their idea. I'm going to take their creation. I'm going to take their destiny and make it my own. I'm going to be a carbon copy of this person. And then I'm going to befriend them and really mess up their head, mess up their mind here. Lord, what is going on with this seduction card and this broken heart? Teletherapist, page of swords, hustle, culture here. Yeah. I feel for some reason, this may not be the first time this person has done this here. They may have had a lot of people that they've stolen from, stolen their destiny, stolen their energy through sex. I just heard succubus. <laughs> like they may have a spirit on them that loves to suck someone else's energy to use them in some type of way to drag their energy down. I feel like whoever you're dealing with, they may have that in them. You can sense it if you pay attention. Okay. Cause I feel like this is more of a warning to you guys, like a message that you need to hear. Like someone is going to dump sorrow into your soul. And everything that you've worked for is going to um, be threatened in some way or be tainted in some way. And I don't want to put negative energy out there. I'm telling you what's on the table here. Like someone, you have to be very careful with someone's advances towards you. I don't want you to be on alert mode like you can't trust anyone here, but someone in particular is going to be wise to slow down with whoever uh, this is, okay? This person is sick, sick in the head. You have the Violet Duchess. Uh, <laughs> the Violet Duchess. It says stifled, bored, stuck. So they may feel stifled, bored, stuck, but they see that you are part of the hustle culture here, and you may do things the right way to get what you're needing here. Um, but this person is kind of like doing the opposite. They're looking to take someone else's success and make it their own. Hmm. Okay, some of you guys could be out for a new career new career, who this? <laughs> you could be out for a new career or you may be taking up a new position here. That's what I'm seeing. This could be someone at your job too, who really wants to switch positions with you that wants to be in the place that you're going to be in because they see or they sense that you are going places here. This person's going to invite you out a lot, boozy brunch here, but they, they're going to try to get you to speak about things that they shouldn't even know about or be a part of here. I feel if this is lover here, okay, this person is someone that you have to be careful with, the tenderest. Tenderest here. I feel for some reason they like to seek out their prey here, three of swords, if this is someone romantic for you, but the lover's card is always just about the, a relationship, personal or business. But this person likes to seek out their prey with the three of swords. They know exactly what they're doing. They're too real, um, <laughs> too real coming in. Okay. Oh my goodness. Let's take a look at the attachment energy. Why is this attachment here? Ooh, because they see something in the spirit realm that is yours. 
that belongs to you, the, this person could be also watching you. Um, this person may know how to astro plane or astro, yeah, project. There's something else that I'm hearing here. You have Angel de la Mortis. Mortis, if I'm saying that right here. It says transitions to the spirit realm. And then you have the ick. <laughs> so I feel someone that they were dealing with also knew this about them. Like they always felt this weird attachment, like they couldn't fully get away from them or get them out of their energy or get, get them off of them. It's like a stain that you'll never get out of your clothes, out of, okay, woo. <laughs> it's a stain that you'll never get out, okay? Um, and I feel someone else that they were dealing with also knew this, okay? Also knew this, but I feel where they do their work here, collective, is in the spirit realm. They see everything I feel like they see what you're manifesting, like they see it coming to you, but it also looks like they're stepping in, like they want to step in and intervene, redirect you to move away from what they know you're capable of or the heights that they see you reaching. They don't want you to reach it because they want to claim it for themselves here. Okay. Ooh, told you eclipse. The eclipse mermaid energy. Isn't this eclipse happening here? I believe so. And Libra. Um, yeah, the new moon solar eclipse. The car says a powerful energy shift. They're shifting your energy. Okay. They want to shift your energy. They want to take over your energy. This person may not even know that you are a karmic, uh, karm karmic, um, person that they were in a relationship with in a past life as well. Because this is clarifying this other card that came in for you. Stabbed in the back here. Well, what happened with y'all in a past life here? So what is this person doing currently? I'm going to look at the coffee cup and the heart, the open heart, okay? They're beautiful. <laughs> well, I said, what are they doing, okay? What are they doing? I said I was going to look at the coffee cup and this door to romance that showed up for you. And look what it said. I said, what are they doing? Spirit said, being shady. That's what they're doing, being shady. Seven of swords, they're setting up a game plan here, people, for a very powerful energy shift between you and them. This is either going to happen in the bedroom or this is going to happen as they are invited into your life in some type of way, maybe through business or a personal relationship, friendship, okay? Um, and they're going to try to get as close as they can because a plan that they have in place is to shift energies with you shift powers with you. This can be someone that wants to claim your power as well. And they're very strategic or they want your business. Like they want your clientele. They want your clients here. Okay. Like you guys deal with clients and you guys do the same thing. And that's how you come together to attach as friends. Okay. They're like, Oh, we got so much in common. You, my sister, you, my bro, but no, this person is really shady. Okay, that's what it is. They're really shady. And they want your success, whatever success you have built, they want it. Or this person is very spiritually, they like to visit the spirit realm. They have powers beyond what you can understand or powers that you haven't been able to use yet, but they know that you have the ability to do it. I feel this person has a spirit upon them as well, like I said, um, that may want to stop you from developing into who you're truly meant to be, okay? Someone's trying to claim it for themselves, either or. Oh, you have time coming in and key on a ring, okay? So strings attach, 
this clock energy, we're clarifying this envy card that's coming in. So this person's going to want to spend as much time talking to you, connecting with you. They want your heart on a string. They want you to think that they are, they may be someone that you can count on here and they want to spend more time with you. Okay. I feel like the card that's clarifying this all is the pyramid scheme. Okay. So I feel like the only way that they can really mm, move forward with some plan that they have is just to learn more about you here. Someone's going to be inviting you out a lot on a repeated basis here. But I feel like it is this boozy, boozy, boozy brunch, okay, to get you off track just a little bit <laughs> so you can disclose things in your heart. What is your heart's desires? What is your next steps? What are your plans, okay, in your business, in your romance, okay, in a relationship? Like you guys could be, oof, my goodness. Some of you guys could be actually moving into a new relationship here and someone is going to try to block it um, and tell you things about your person that you may not have been thinking of, but I feel like they do it in a very slick way. Try to make you see things that aren't truly there. Okay. So who... This energy here <laughs> of this energy vampire or someone that wants to claim your success, claim your life. I can hear you guys say no one can do that, but someone's going to try to do it. Yeah, they want to make transitions in the spirit realm here. It's such an icky feeling. It's real, it's real bad here, <laughs> okay? Very much... Um, the attachment that you have or will create with this person will make significant changes in your life. But I, I feel like it's not going to be ones that uh, actually, it won't be ones that actually benefit you. It's going to be ones that bring you a lot of emotional pain. Okay. Someone has ancient wisdom. I told you this person is more powerful um, than you think. Here, they have very ancient energy or ancient wisdom. Lady with a Bosch egg. Anywho, claim your energy back and make sure that you have boundaries up. Basically, that's what I'm saying. Someone's going to try to weasel their way in but and have you disclose everything. Have you really open up and open your heart here to them, Ace of Cups? Um. And spend a lot of time with you, like I said, only to gain what you have spiritually, physically, in this physical world. They want to manipulate your manifestations or your way of thinking because a goal is to drag you down and claim, claim what is yours, okay? Claim, get into a position that you're in. They want to have your status, your life here. So you need to claim your energy back frequently. You need to invite your spirit guides in. You need to invite your ancestors in. You need to invite uh, your archangels in, your angels, the ancestors that have passed over, family that have passed over that you know love you. Okay, you need to give them permission to bring your energy back. You need to call your energy back, okay? Especially if you're dealing with a situation like this already. I said that you can be victorious and I feel definitely you can be and you will be here. You will have victory over someone that is trying to steal your essence, steal your energy here, okay? So really try to um, connect with your spirit guides, okay? And ask them, okay, to bring back your energy from all four corners. I claim my energy back. I claim my energy back frequently. Okay, you guys can write that down. You can 
light some candles if you would like to do it. You can meditate. You can pray about it. All right. But the most important thing is, is that you are really cautious about who you connect with and who you're letting into your life. Okay. Yeah. That's what I'm seeing here. And that's your reading collectively. I love you guys. Leave me a comment. Like I said, this won't resonate with everybody, but this was a message for someone. Okay. If it resonated with you, let me know down in the comments, love, and I will see you guys in your next reading. Take care. Bye.